How's it going, Greater Nation? Chris Thomas here. Hope you're having a great day kind of day. And we're going to talk about a lot of the changes happening with brands given all the recent racial controversies. Aunt Jemima, which is under the umbrella of Quaker Oats, which is owned by Pepsi, has stated that the company is going to change uh, the branding of Aunt Jemima. It's no longer going to be called Aunt Jemima. It's going to be something where there's a new name. Uh, the character, the Aunt Jemima character is no longer going to be there. It's going to be something very different. Yeah, it's going to be very confusing. What do you mean it's going to be confusing? Well, it when I go to the grocery store, and I I uh, um just you know going through the aisles, when I see that red box and that big black face with the huge white teeth, all right, that's enough. What? I just know that that's uh th that's the pancake section. So I know. Oh, okay, here. Here's the pancake stuff, and it's time to get pan pancake batter. Well, I'm not sure if you stated it in the most sensitive way. What's the matter? Uh, it seemed totally fine to me. Well, a lot of people have been extra cautious of late, trying to make sure that people are not hurt by what they see in terms of advertising on television programming. And I can certainly understand to an extent how, given everything that's happening, you don't want to hurt people. How does, how does a, a, a black lady on a box of pancakes hurt anyone? Yeah, I mean... It, with Aunt Jemima, it, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, here, here's my recommendation is that they just keep the red box and they, they have a new ant, but the ant doesn't have to be black. You can have, my, my Aunt Agnes can do it. Get my Aunt Agnes. Get your Aunt Agnes so you're, Aunt Agnes will be willing to be the new branding model for the pancakes. Oh, yeah. My Aunt Agnes would be willing to take a picture where there's pancake batter all around her mouth and people have to figure out whether or not it's pancake batter or something else oh geez louise good grief that, that actually sounds like something that will attract customers uh dale i don't i don't think that's something that's going to attract customers why not uh, if if you see a box in the supermarket and it's a white woman covered in uh you know white stuff around her mouth, you're going to do a double take, and they're going to say, well, what is this? I, I want to learn more. Good times. I'm pretty sure people are not going to want to purchase a product where... <laughs> What's so funny? Why are you laughing? Well, well, well it's just... If if you think people are going to be willing to hold a box where a woman is, has white stuff all over her face and, and not be embarrassed or ashamed, I think you're a, a little bit misguided. I I think you you're incredibly wrong. I think they would be proud, be proud and say, "Hey, uh, you know this." Is a very uh, unique product, and it must be good because if this is pancake batter all over her mouth, 
then that dang that's really good that's really good pancake batter tastes good yeah that's right if the pancake batter is actually pancake batter and not something else people are gonna say wow this must be so delicious if this woman has a you know pretty much caked on her face oh dale i'm telling you people are not gonna buy a product like that and, and then what what about what about uncle ben okay why are you getting sensitive about it well it's just that again you know if you go to the supermarket and you are uh, you're going to the aisles and you see that orange box with the bald black guy yeah the guy that is darkest night oh cut it out okay so uncle ben is also going to be changed in some capacity they may not even call it uncle ben uh they maybe will change the character at the very least maybe keep the name uncle ben but but change the character so that it doesn't look like an african-american man who is maybe like a butler or a servant they say they try to make him look like a, a businessman but he doesn't really look like a businessman uh, at least based on the very small image that they include yeah i mean uh, oh if they if they call it uncle ben and put ben shapiro on the box i think i think they will still buy it what god why why would <laughs> why are you laughing what what is so funny about this <laughs> okay so you're saying that uh instead of an african american man they should put uh, conservative commentator Ben Shapiro on the Uncle Ben uh, rice box. What is Uncle uh, Ben? Sh <laughs> oh, she is. She is. You're laughing and you're under the influence. I'm not under the influence. Cut it out. Good times. Well, I mean, you have the giggles. What's so funny about it? Ben Shapiro uh, could be a good mascot for Uncle Ben rice. I know, but. Uh, what does Ben Shapiro have to do with rice? Well, I mean, uh, he uh, has the has the charisma of a poor rice, right? Well, uh, I mean, I agree with you. He's not the most charismatic individual. Yeah, they should feature Ben Shapiro uh, slightly. Slouched over, rubbing his hands together. All right, that's uh, Dale Pine is getting inappropriate. What, what, what was inappropriate, Dale? Well, he's doing another stereotype. How, why are you going to replace a stereotype with a stereotype? It is not a stereotype. If you have ever seen Ben, and I'm talking about Ben Shapiro here, and there is a nickel on the street. Okay, that's enough. Grain A Nation, it seems like there's so much happening in the world. So many changes. I have a recommendation. Oh, I was about to, you know, wrap things up. Well, I, I just, like, give me a chance. You didn't even let me make a, another recommendation. Okay, so what's your alternative? Well, they should change Uncle Ben's rice to Uncle uh, Raven. Uncle Raven? What? Yeah, because Raven Shimon got married uh, to another woman, and the woman happens to be white. <laughs> Well, okay, so what is... But Raven Simone is, is a woman. Well, if you're a woman marrying another woman, doesn't that make you an uncle? Oh, God. 
<sighs> okay. Well, I mean, and then Raymond Simone can appear on the box and she's licking down her white wife. All right. Uh, that's enough, Great A Nation, for this installment. We'll check in with you as soon as possible. We appreciate your support. Thanks for listening. I actually do like the idea of Uncle Raven Simone's rice. Okay, Dale, just be quiet. <laughs>